The North Carolina women's basketball team faced extraordinary circumstances this season when Hall of Fame head coach Sylvia Hatchell temporarily stepped away from her on-the-court coaching responsibilities due to a leukemia diagnosis. Associate head coach Andrew Calder stepped in and directed the team in Coach Hatchell's absence. He's led the Tar Heels to a 20-win season and had the team ranked as high as number six in the country, the highest ranking for the program since November 2009. Hatchell stepped away in mid-October, only weeks before the start of the 2013-14 season. Through treatment, she's seen her leukemia go into complete molecular remission. Despite not being on the sideline this season, Hatchell has continued to play a vital role in her program's success, giving motivational talks to the team before games and offering her time for one-on-one -on -one conversations with players during the season. She's also in daily discussions with the coaching staff in preparing game and practice plans. She's attended a handful of games and twice has addressed the crowds, encouraging fans to sign up for the Be The Match program, a nonprofit organization that's dedicated to helping those facing life-threatening blood cancers. The program enlists people in the National Bone Marrow Donor Registry. Despite not having their head coach for most of the season, the Tar Heels, who welcomed the nation's number one recruiting class in the fall, have persevered with an extremely young team that features nine freshmen and sophomores among its 13 members. Those young Tar Heels have taken the adversity of missing their head coach for nearly the entire season and learned to play together and trust each other on and off the court. The Carolina women's basketball team has used Sylvia Hatchell's absence as motivation. They've played for their coach and they've played for themselves and have become a true team.